did I ever get to a point where you don't like I'm always about forgiveness like well okay how do I even start this see my brain's fucked up <laughs> in many ways and it's fucked up with something and I can't even start the sentence to explain it so I'm just gonna fucking say it um so I was best friends with someone from about 16 well basically this person was my only friend from 16 to about 24 24 I gained a few more friends but we were still really good friends during this time from 16 to like 33 or whatever we had one falling out whatever okay but best friends hang out all the time you know like my sister like you know would die for do anything for like best friends right but unfortunately during this 16 to 33 when we were friends we started doing heroin and here's the thing she didn't make me do it I didn't make her do it I was actually living in Pennsylvania she was living in New Jersey we just happened to start doing it at the same time, which is odd. But when I moved back to New Jersey and found that she was doing it, I was like, awesome, because I was fucking crazy back then. Anyway, so we do heroin together, and honestly, it fucks up our friendship. It does. It ended up fucking our friendship. Um, I was the kind of person that I could do heroin and get fucked up all night, but still go to work for at least a few hours. Um, I managed to store in the mall and I was a shitty manager, but I still was able to at least go to work a few day, you know, go to work 40 hours a week and all that fun stuff. Usually left early or did stuff I wasn't supposed to, but that's another story time. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I was able to hold it a job. So that's how I was able to pay for my habit and, you know, such. Uh, for the most part, nothing to horrible <laughs> um now she on the other hand did some really fucked up shit like stealing checks and stuff and like you know you, it's just not such nice things and um that sort of shows us as how we are as people because even though i at that point gave no fucks about my life the only concern i actually had was when i od'd i hope my mom doesn't find my body because that would have fucked her up a little bit that's where you get with that kind of stuff. When with stuff like heroin, you don't do heroin because it's like a party drug or you're doing great in your life and this is just something you want to add to it. You start doing heroin because everything else fucking sucks. And if you happen to die, yay. Oh well. You know, that was pretty much the thought process. It's like it's passive aggressive suicide. You don't plan on dying, but if you do die, you knew the risk you were taking while doing it. You know, no one does heroin like, yeah, this is going to be a great life choice. No. It's sort of just like, fuck it. I don't care. Whatever. Let's do this. Anywho. So we're doing heroin. And basically, the reason I say that we had different ways of paying for our stuff is, basically, my nephew had cancer during this period. And um, he had a cancer benefit. And you know, even though I was going through all the shit I was, I was still going to give some money to my fucking stepsister for, you know, my, my fucking nephew. Like, I'm not that soulless. So I um had $40 stashed in my wallet. And basically, I learned from hanging out with Melissa after, you know, we got really heavy into heroin, is anything I had that was worth anything stayed in my bra. Because if not, it would disappear. Yeah, best friend, right? And uh, basically, she stole the money. I fell asleep. I zonged out with a dope. Um, and I left my wallet on the table, and $40 that I had hidden was stolen. Used, my cell phone was used to tell the dealer. Like, basically, it was her. <laughs> there was no ifs, ands, or buts. There was, like, four people in the fucking motel room. It was her. So, basically, I, I flip out. I lose all my shit. Like, I used to always sort of teach her, like, we were friends because we were both so fucked up. Like, that was, we always said, like, we're friends because we're both fucking crazy, and that's why we're friends. Well, I, I, I fucking, I was never loud at her mean to her and like that like we always were able to work things out i flipped shit i called her every name in the fucking book it was nine in the goddamn morning and i'm in the hood in some fucking nasty ass crack motel but i'm cussing this fucking bitch out and she fucking deserved every fucking thing every said everything i said anywho that day <laughs> was the day i ended up telling my father that i was doing heroin and i got help and i went to rehab and yes you know what i went to rehab for 15 days um, that's another story, because that's just a fucking crazy story upon itself. Went to rehab for 15 days, came out, and used on the 17th day. Um, basically, she hadn't saved my life. <laughs> 110%. I definitely believe that things happen for a reason. And I got lucky. My friend did not meet someone to help her. I had someone who helped me get sober, got me out of the area, and really helped me get sober. Gave me a reason to want to be around. And I will always owe my life to Shannon for that. Always. She didn't have that. So she struggled, and I get that. But uh, she basically, she, you know, got clean, got sober, clean, you know, got clean, got fucked up, got clean, got fucked up, got clean, got fucked up. And um, basically after like the fourth rehab, she met some dude, she had a kid, you know, she was doing, she was still getting fucked up, you know, like getting drunk and doing too much Xanax, but not doing dope. Um, had a kid, you know, 
And within a year, doesn't talk to the kid, doesn't see the kid. This is her second kid she doesn't talk to. But um, again, another story. I'm really not trying to be this this harsh on it. Um, anyway, she had a kid and she was doing good. And then that fell apart. He pretty much was like done, fell apart. So she fell apart again and went back to her old ways of, I'm going to go do drugs. And mind you, she had a horrible childhood. She had some fucked up shit. Like she's not a horrible person, but she makes horribly bad choices and she's very fucked up. <laughs> um, anyway, so she basically started using again and, uh, I mean, I was stupid enough to let her stay at our house with Shannon and she went through our drawers within like the second day and stole shit and it was a huge ordeal. And that was the first time I almost came close to fighting her. Like, literally, my friend, who was a, this 300-pound dude, had to hold me back. And not saying I'm some tough bitch who can pass through him. That's why I was, you know, he was holding me back. It was pretty easy. But uh, I was ready to fucking wail on her. Like, I couldn't even. She was at my door trying to, like, basically, I locked the door. And, like, then, you know, long story. Basically, my door was locked. And she was trying to talk to me through the door. And I was, it was like, if you don't get the fuck away from my door, I'm going to fucking kill you. Like, I was done with everything. Like, I was done with her. So, after that, we stopped talking for a few years. And then again, my dumbass, because... The thing is, when you're fr friends with somebody for that long, especially when they're your only friends for a period of time, and like, when I when I met her, I was suicidal and miserable, and she sort of helped me not kill myself, you know, and I always, you know, she owned a little piece of my fucking heart, even though I hate her kind of thing, you know, I'm like very, like, twisted in how I feel about her right now, um, <clears throat> she, yeah, anyway, sorry, <laughs> basically, <clears throat> after the incident of stealing, I talked to her for, like, another year and a half, year or so, and I somehow got in contact with her again, and she was getting married, and she was really happy, and we were not semi, I can't even explain that part, but basically shit happened, and we were friends again, we got a fight in the end, I can't even, I'm not getting involved in that completely, it's too personal. Okay, so now it's been another year and a half, <laughs> well, it's about a year and a half, I don't know, I don't know how long it's been, it's been a while, and, um, didn't talk to her, you know, I sent her a text message once, but I was didn't get a reply, and I was like, whatever. I got a text message, just, like, three weeks ago, and it said, um, first I said, hey, or something, and I was like, don't know who you are, and then I said, did you add Fab, the Ad Fab has a movie out, Absolutely Fabulous, the English comedy, and I was like, I know who you are, <laughs> and I talked for a little bit, and I was excited at first, and I was like, oh my god, cool, yeah, how you doing, found out she got arrested, and her mugshot was in the paper, and you know, she's on drug court and all this stuff, and I was like, okay, you know, that's, you need drug court, you need something that's going to follow you around, like, I had Shannon to sort of, like, keep me in check and give me a reason not to use, you have the government, you know, you have going to jail, that, that works, cool, but here's the thing, um, I was happy to talk to her, I didn't make it a big deal because Shannon fucking hates her, and I understand why Shannon hates her, Shannon never saw any good in her because she didn't get a chance to, when Shannon met me, I was doing dope, she, so the good person was gone, and the bad person was now here, and that's all she's ever seen of this person, anyway, um, so, you know, we talk, or whatever, the first day, I'm sort of excited about it, because I'm like, yay, because, you know, I was, I was worried all the time that she was dead, like, I was waiting to check the paper and see her fucking obituary, because, I mean, you don't live that life and live long, it's just fucking reality, um, and to find out she didn't die was nice, to find out she was back in dope, fucking, of course, was not nice, but not surprising, unfortunately, um, so anyway, so we talked for a few days, like, I talked for a day, and then I was, like, mm, back off a little bit, and I keep, like, catching myself sort of backing away, because I don't know if I could ever be friends with her again, because here's the thing, if she called me, and she was a totally different person, and she, you know, like, at first she, like, you know, I thought she, like, she had a job, and she was trying, and, like, she lives with some dude she hates that she's just using for a place to stay, which is, like, her, like, signature move, like, she's really fucking good at that shit, is getting people to fucking, like, let her live at their house, and pretty much get taken care of by them, like, alright, and honestly, like, I used to be like, man, get your hustle, dude, that's cool, and I'm just like, hmm, I don't know how to feel about that anymore, it's like, why did I grow morals, anyway, um, <laughs> And she's, like, bitching about him, and she's got, she, but she got a job. So I'm going to see what happens to the job, but, like, she's trying to act like it's just, like, it's fucking 2010 again. We can fucking just talk every day, and it's, no, like, I'm, I'm not there yet. Like, I'm happy you're not dead. I worried about that all the time. I'm so happy she's not dead. But do you think that we're going to be, like, um, talking all the time? No, no, girl, no. Like, I need to believe that you're actually a real person again. Like, I need to believe that you're not just doing this because this is what you do right now. And the minute drug war's over, you're going to fucking shoot up again. Because, like, honestly, I don't really want to be around it. 
you know, when you have a problem with the drug, especially something like heroin, which, I mean, there's a reason people do it. It's pretty fucking amazing feeling. It just ruins your fucking life. But when you have a problem with something like that, you really don't want to be around people that do it. So it's sort of like if you're not 100% ready to get sober after the ninth time, I can't put myself through it. I can't put my wife through it because my wife fucking hates her and I understand why. And I goddamn I'm not letting that affect my relationship. Like, that's the best thing that's ever happened to me. You know, like, she's the reason I'm living. I can't fucking let that fuck that up. But at the same time, this is someone who's my family and I want to make sure she's good. But I don't know if I can actually be friends with her again. And it's like, I don't know where to go from here. Like, I don't want my wife to think that I'm friends with her because it fucking bugs her. And I know why it does, but it's like, what do you want me to do? Like, I was friends with her before I fucking knew you, dude. Like, she was all I had for a very long time. But then I have, you know, part of me who's like, oh, good, I'm so happy you're alive. It's so nice to talk to you. But then I'm like, you're still the same fucking person you were five years ago. And like, if you're still the same person you were five years ago, like, oh, well, you know what? At the same time, she's acting the same way, but that doesn't mean she really is. Like, I honestly, having this conversation with my computer and AKA myself, um, <laughs> Maybe I just need to have a conversation with her and see where her head really is. But from what I'm seeing on the po like her text messages, it's like we're not gonna go from like you know hating each other to being best friends. Like I don't think I could ever be best friends again with her. But you know maybe friends. I don't know. You know it's like sometimes like how much can you take before you're like that person that was my my sister, or my fucking family, the only person I like literally talked to and hung out with for like god like 16 fucking years is gone like they're living their body's there but the person died years ago <sighs> i guess i more or less just had to get that out of my head so if you need advice feel free to leave it in the comments but i guess i'm more or less just talking to myself in that because i really don't know what i'm supposed to do with it heroin sucks guys just in case you were curious all right bye